there, I'm Ashling from Nile Agency. Today we're going to talk about HubSpot's new operations hub and we're going to focus on its potential for industrial companies. So let's start from the customer experience, the buyer's journey. In theory, this journey is straightforward. The targets pass from anonymous to prospect to customer to promoter. In reality, however, the buyer's journey is far more complex. In manufacturing, you typically have long-term relationships with your customers. They'll purchase from you several times. They may stop purchasing for several years and then come back to you. And ultimately, it's hard to track that journey. It's also not always easy for manufacturers to implement a CRM. The industrial context today means that you have more and more industry specific tools and systems which can create security risks. Users are also more demanding than they were before in terms of their experience and requirements for a CRM. There are lots of software and processes which aren't compatible with your existing systems and so would require an even greater change to your way of working if you try and implement them. With this in mind, HubSpot offers a CRM, which is ideal for industrial sector. It's a secure platform that's easy for information systems teams to deploy. It's easy to adopt and it allows companies to streamline their sales, marketing and service around a single platform. This helps deliver a better customer experience because all of the information is stored in one place. The HubSpot API is an open API and it makes it easy to connect to other apps either with out-of-the-box integrations or custom development. So the platform offering is excellent and theoretically it's almost perfect. In reality, however, there are some points of friction and HubSpot has launched Operations Hub in response to these frictions. So here's a figure to keep in mind. 60% of 65% of your new business comes from referrals or existing business. Your clients will bring you more customers. They are who keep your flywheel spinning. So if you treat your customers badly or you don't have enough customers, you're risking your new business acquisition. And it's important to bear this in mind because Operations Hub was created to align teams around a shared purpose, delivering delightful experiences to customers. So let me explain that. I said before that HubSpot is the perfect CRM for industry because it aligns all of the tools around customer experience. It's quick and easy to install and to adopt. However, there are certain challenges remaining. When we look at Industry 4.0, most companies today use some sort of IoT technologies for their connected production sites. Oftentimes, you have complex external data that has been in place for a long time. So this could be an existing CRM you've connected to HubSpot, your ERP, or industry-specific apps. All of these systems make up your industrial heritage, which is unique to the industrial sector and is quite complex. So even when we implement HubSpot, which is easy to set up and to use, we still run the risk of creating silos and ending up with your systems on one side and HubSpot on the other, and they're not talking to one another. So for manufacturing companies that adopt HubSpot, which we think is the best fit for your sector, it's still not always easy. It's not always easy to install a single source of truth for your data because you have the heritage system alongside HubSpot. It's not always easy to ensure reliable information when you have two systems that aren't necessarily aligned or updated in real time. It's not easy to follow your client's buyer journey because one part will be in HubSpot and another will be in your systems. So we don't have the full story. And all of this makes our goal of improving the customer experience a real challenge. And so this is why HubSpot has launched Operations Hub to solve these problems and help companies scale by ensuring easier system-wide integrations, powerful automation, and better data quality. For industry, HubSpot Operations Hub takes away some of the frictions that exist because of inherited systems and all of those challenges we just discussed, thanks to a tool that is customer experience focused. Operations Hub will allow you to bridge between your historical systems and your new CRM. So there are three key points to Operations Hub. One, data sync. This is what allows you to connect your existing systems, your ERP, your CRM to HubSpot easily without the need for third party integration tools or custom development. Two, data quality manage management. Often in industry, you have data formats which are very specific and which need to be 
reformatted. So for example, we'll often deal with machine serial numbers or order numbers. And it's not always easy to make sure that that data remains correctly formatted so that the different systems can speak to another. Point three, custom code automation. This allows you to create custom code actions to call to external technologies and your connected factory. So we'll look at each element in more detail and I'll give you some examples for each so that you can see how you might be able to use them for your business. The first feature is data sync. So this is very good news for HubSpot users who also use other systems. It allows you to connect existing systems to HubSpot without the need for third party integration tools or development, ensuring that your data is always up to date, even as your tech stack scales. A common use case would be your sales team is on another CRM, for example, Microsoft Dynamics. So they can start to connect Dynamics to HubSpot without a developer or the need to write code. You can map information to sync between the two systems and with data sync, you don't need to maintain the connection. So HubSpot will look after the technical maintenance for the data flow. As you can see here, it's very easy to choose what information to map across. This is just one example, but there are lots of applications with sync options available. So I'd recommend that you check out HubSpot's ecosystem where you can see all of the integrations and HubSpot updates it every month as new integrations are added. The second point is more processed focus. It's data quality management. So as we saw, maybe in your business, you have data with specific formatting and you need the formatting in order for the operation to be processed correctly. Operations Hub allows you to run these jobs as workflow actions and ensure good and consistent data quality. So to give you one example, let's look here. With a workflow, we can now decide to capitalize the last name for all contacts. So on the surface, this functionality seems really simple, but in reality, this could save thousands of hours of data cleansing, and there was no easy solution for this in HubSpot up to now. Another example would be telephone numbers and country codes. If you work in specific countries, you could ensure the country code is in front of the phone number so that it's correctly formatted for calling directly from HubSpot. These are just two examples, but like I said, you could also imagine using data quality management for serial numbers, machine numbers, customer codes, or really any data formats that you need to standardize. Up until now, the only way to tidy up your data was to export it from HubSpot, use Excel filters, pivot tables, and so on, and then re-import it when the data was clean. So I think data quality management is ultimately going to save thousands of hours of manual data cleansing and allow you to automate these processes. And the third point is custom code automation. So this is really exciting. Before Operations Hub, automation actions available in HubSpot were limited to the workflows tool and a predefined list of workflow actions which were developed by HubSpot. The functionality was powerful, but not always flexible enough to cater to more complex or advanced use cases. With programmable automation, you can apply your own rules or scenarios to HubSpot workflows by building custom automation actions using JavaScript. So for example, you could say you want to automatically associate a machine object or a particular machine to a company. You could also create alerts for when your SLA is exceeded or when you're over production. I have another example here. Uh, if you have a sales team that's quite complex, like we do at Neil, we have customers with 30 or 40 sales reps, all with different territories defined. When a lead comes in, it can be difficult to route the lead to the right person automatically. So in this example, you can develop a rule using JavaScript to weight your lead distribution. If a lead belongs to a certain category, it should go to a particular sales rep. In the example we see here, we want to create a lead distribution logic model with weighted logic. So one rep should get 30% of leads, while another should get 20% and another 40%. And here we can create a model which goes beyond the standard automatic lead distribution offered by HubSpot. We haven't had this flexibility up to now, and I think it's very good news for industrial companies with complex sales structures. So the automation possibilities in HubSpot workflows are now endless. Uh, you're limited really only by your imagination and your JavaScript capability. 
And the second part of programmable automation is the webhooks trigger available in workflows. So webhooks are different to JavaScript, but they allow HubSpot to communicate with and send requests to other web applications in real time. So I have two examples for you. One is you could automate the process of sending HubSpot contact information to your ERP when someone fills in a specific form. For example, if someone fills in a support form on your website because they have a technical problem with the machine, the webhook could then push the information to your ERP and alert your maintenance team. Another example, you sell a machine to a client and you want to activate it remotely. So you send the machine, it's delivered, and when you close the deal in HubSpot, it sends the information to the activation system and the machine is activated. So in summary, if I was to define Operations Hub, I would say it enables you to align your historical systems and your customer experience. You can continue to use your existing systems while modernizing how you manage your leads and your customers. And once again, this matters because it'll increase customer satisfaction, which will increase those referrals and recommendations and almost ultimately bring you in more business. So I hope the Operations Hub is a bit clearer to you now and you found this demo useful. It's quite a technical subject, so I tried to give lots of examples to show you the different possibilities and how you might be able to use it in your business. If you have any questions or you want to know more, please get in touch with us. You can book a meeting with us on our website, agenceneal.com or agenceneal.com. Thanks. See you soon.